Today we're going to tour a very popular Class B+. What is it? We'll find out in just a second. Let's take a look first at some exterior shots. As you can see, this Class B+, looks really nice. It's very beautiful as compared to other B pluses out there, which look like bread delivery vans. This has a nice sleek look. I mean, it's about as nice as you can make a Class B plus look. Be sure to stick to the very end of the video because I'm going to give you my real thoughts about this Class B plus van. We are in something really cool. This is a 2018 Leisure Travel Vans Unity IB, 24 IB for Island Bed, which is directly behind me. And this van, just get it right off the bat, its suggested retail price is $142,912, so almost $143,000. But I'm looking in the front window, and it looks like they have it marked down to $130,000. Now, where you're at right now is the front lounge slash living area. So keep in mind the two cab seats also spin around and face around, but you have these two side seats here and this table. You can see it's folded up right now, but if you wanted to flip those two parts out, then you get a much larger table and you can certainly get the four, that's a lot of surface area for the four people up here, uh, seated around up here. Now this is not a slide out, of course, um, but you do have a lot of space here. The kitchen, like all the leisure travel vans, I, I just love their design. It's so fresh and modern and clean looking, but look at these beautiful curves. Look at these doors in the galley. And I'm, these are thick doors, folks. Look how thick that these, these doors are here. And look, this one's concave. That's really beautiful. And the shelves underneath, they're all done. That's some high class work right there, I gotta tell you. Beautiful. Corian's matching. Let's see, these are positive locking drawers. You've got a flip up counter extension over there just to give yourself a little bit more prep room. A very deep sink. This is, you know, this goes up to here on me. So this is a good eight inches at least the depth of this sink and probably 14 or 15 inches diameter. I also like the fact that they give you a place right here for your trash can. There, you always need to find a place for your trash can. I, I, there's no place built in on the Pleasure Way ascent that I have, so it ends up being behind the driver's seat, but I like having it built in right there. The cabinets have this really ingenious positive latching system. So. Here you can see this is metal down here, not plastic. So this is the catch. And this right here, you just very easily put your fingers underneath and it releases it from the catch down below. Click, positive latching. So good for leisure travel vans. Lots of storage over there. I'm not gonna open, go and open every little cabinet. You can see that online. I like the choice of materials in here. It feels high end. You've got the nice laminate floors, but the st style of the laminate is, it's just, it looks very modern, you know, to me. It looks nice. One nice thing about having a B plus is the fact that you have a proper door for coming into the van. You don't have a big heavy sliding door that you need to open and close. So you have a proper door here. Um, you have the beautiful light here, rear accent lighting above the cabinets, and then if you notice, there's plenty of overhead lighting. Always check that out in a van, but there's plenty of overhead lighting, LED lighting in here, so it's nice, bright, and lit up. You can always shut certain banks of lights off, but if you don't have the lights, you're not gonna drill holes in your ceiling and install them later. So always check to make sure it's bright enough for you with all the lights on. Look at this beautiful spice rack. That's a part of the kitchen here. You've got this one here, and then you've got, this is a flat screen TV for the lounge. Very nice, 24 inch flat screen TV for the lounge. Just hides away, has its own little cubby right there. Very smart leisure travel vans, very smart. So we step back here, look at that beautiful bedroom in the back. It's an island bed. Now what's the advantage of an island bed? Look on the left, the driver's side and the passenger side. 
there's room for each person to climb in and out of the bed without climbing over the other person. So this looks like a nice little bedroom, doesn't it? You've got your headboard in the back. Uh, you've got your built-in cabinetry on the left and right. Lots of storage down below there. I like the little lighting accents as you go to the step up. And I'm, I'm 5'10", so you can get some idea of the size of the bed. So I'm 5'10", and here I am. So it's, and it's a very comfortable bed. I can, I can tell you that the bed's quite, whoop, sorry, you're wobbling all around. And the bed's quite comfortable. I really like this wall that you see here, which is where the bathroom is. I really like this curve, this continuously curved wall. Leisure Travel Vans has some great interior designers, I got to tell you, who do some incredible things inside these vans. These Leisure Travel Vans just don't feel like anything else on the market. It's, it's really incredible. So if you want a little bit of privacy in your bedroom, this is your shower here. You just open that door and now look, you've got a little wardrobe dressing area with a nice mirror that you can look at yourself in. This is your shower. It's a nice big shower. It's got a nice big sunroof, which is cool, and a modern grab handle. So I'm liking this a lot. And this is your toilet in here. Look at that. I think that's quite nice, just to give you an idea of dimension. Nice finished Corian counter here, proper stainless steel sink. You've got this built-in uh, accessory rack here so you can buy different things which will go in here. Nice and tall. Lights. This goes back here, a little, little bit of depth here so you can put some of your things. And then you can't see in this corner, but there's a triangular shelves here in the corner so you can put maybe your shampoos and things like that in this corner. Um, so... This is a nice size bathroom, and because of the curved radius door, when the door is shut, I'm going to have just a little bit more elbow room in here. But it's not like I need it because uh, I've got my shower next door. The other nice thing that Leisure Travel does is they put a water pump switch here in the bathroom. That's a nice thought because sometimes the water pump may be off, and then you need to turn it on to flush the toilet. They put it in here so you don't have to walk out of the bathroom. I'm really liking this Leisure Travel Vans Unity IB, the island bed. It feels much larger than it is. Now, this is built on the cutaway chassis. I mean, this is not built on the van chassis. The cab and everything comes finished from Mercedes, but then everything beyond this bulkhead back is built by Leisure Travel Vans. But no slide outs, and it still feels quite spacious and quite nice. The fact that you have such a large and functional bedroom in the back, and then a really nice design for the bathroom where it's a dry bath and you have the shower on one side of the aisle and then the toilet and sink on the other really works well. And I'm really loving the kitchen. I just love how smartly designed it is with the curved cabinetry uh, and you've got that big window there behind you. And then this front lounge, which utilizes the front cab really well, I think, in order to make this into a usable lounge for four people. This would be an ideal van for a couple who wants to travel around in luxuries, wants something that's not very big, this is only 24 feet long, and frankly wants quality that's not going to cost them an arm and a leg as, as we can see here. So this is a very, very nice option from Leisure Travel Vans. <music>